Hi everyone, this is Debbie with Plan Do Repeat, and today I'm going to do the second uh, of my series for the composition notebook. Uh, if you've been following along, you'll know that we have already covered the first notebook and used washi tape, and then covered the dividers. Um, I explained how I was going to do it and how I uh, glued the papers together uh, for these book notebooks and then how I put the paper on. But I have not shown it to you. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you how I did that. Now this one, this book, is exactly what this book looked like. They were exactly alike, even the same colors, okay? And uh, last time we talked, I was showing you how to glue all the pages together, and that's what I did on this. I glued all the pages together, so now they are all uh, double pages, so that whatever I use to write on these, uh, it won't go through, okay? Uh, if you are heavy-handed with a really um, big magic markers or maybe um, alcohol um, sprays then maybe you might want to try three pages together it's up to you whatever works for you because this is all about you and how you want to do your your composition notebook okay so uh, if this is what you're looking for and how you uh, learn if you want to learn how to do uh, what I've done to this book then stick around Okay, so the last time you were here, uh, we went through the pad of craft paper and I picked out all these lovely colored uh, craft papers, all right? Um, and so what I need to do is I need to decide uh, what needs to go on the front of this book. And I think what I'm going to go with is... Uh, well, let's see, I'm, I'm torn. <laughs> uh, right now, um, the, the animal print is really big, and, uh, but I really do love this one. It's uh, gorgeous, but I think, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, so, I am gonna show you how I do this. Now, you may want to do this uh, differently, um, because uh, some people, will take their their uh, their rulers and they will measure all the dimensions and then they will cut it uh, with their uh, with their cutters this is my cutter um, but I do not do that <laughs> and I actually do not use my cutter for this either so y'all are gonna think I'm crazy uh, and that's okay um, but what I do is I literally uh, put my adhesive on this page and then I stick the paper on it, okay? And that's exactly how I do it. Uh, it's a lot easier for me. If it's something that ne is not as precise as you need it to be, then you do you and you can measure how you want it and then you can cut it and then you can glue it on. It's up to you. Now there are different ways of uh, using different kinds of adhesive. Um, I have been using the glue stick to get the pages stuck together, all right? But for doing this, these pages are uh, thicker and I want to use something uh, more reliable. So I'm gonna be using um, uh, rolling roller tape uh, double stick page uh, page uh, tape <laughs> um, you could use uh, PVC uh, glue uh, Elber's glue liquid glue if you want to but um, this is paper so that's up to you if uh, a lot of times paper will um, uh, dry wobbly you know with waves and I'm, I'm not gonna do that uh, I, I don't like that, but if you like that, go for it, okay? So uh, stick around, and I'm going to start uh, 
putting uh, the covers on the front and back and on the inside of the pages. I, I used on this book, I used pieces that were left over from the front and the back and I just glued them in this way. And I made a little pocket right here, okay? Um, so that I could stick anything I wanted in it. And I didn't put anything on the back side. Um, I won't do it on this one either because I literally do not use my back side uh, of, the, of the notebooks at all. Uh, I only use the front. So that's up to you. If you wanna use the back side, go for it. I mean, if you want it to match, that's fine. Uh, but I don't ever look at the backside, so I'm not going to do it. All right, so stick around, and I'm going to cover the front and the back and the inside cover here. All right, so stay tuned. Oh, I'm going to just um, fast forward the next parts. Um, so enjoy the tunes and watch me as I speed through. <laughs> Okay, so as you can tell, I'm good at banging the camera. I hope you didn't get seasick from that. Um, so uh, I know um, some people mentioned that, um, that they like to take the measurements and, and cut them precisely. And you know what, that's okay. Um, I've been over that so many different times, different ways of doing it. And you know what, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna throw it away. Okay, uh, when I'm done using it up as a journal or whatever I'm going to use it for, I'm going to throw it away um, because that's what I make these for. It's for my pleasure to use as I wish. And then when I'm done, I just throw it away. So, I mean, this cost me a dollar. So <laughs> it's not like, you know, I, I um, uh, mortgaged the house or anything to just to to get this. So, um if you want to make this something really, really special, then do that. This is yours, so do it as you wish, okay? So, um, you notice that I just glued it on and then I went around the edges and, and cut it off. That's exactly what I did. And then I piecemealed what was left over and covered this, all right? So I do have some of this other leftover and I'm going to cut a little bit off, okay? Um, yep, and I'm gonna glue the sides. And the bottom. 
And now I've got a little pocket in the front. See? Okay. So, um, I like to be able to remember that it's in there. All right. So, uh, that is done. All right. And I love the colors. Uh, I chose them because I like the black and white. Uh, so pretty. And so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, did you see me where I, <laughs> I was covering this backside and I thought I had this, but this one was stuck back there. It snuck in on me, but I don't have any glue stuck on it. So that's good. Anyway, um, I picked out uh, these other sheets of paper. Okay. So that's three, four, five. Okay. So five different sheets of paper that I can use to, uh, to match the color scheme of this notebook. Um, and I'm, I'm going back and forth, trying to decide how many sections I want, um, in this book. And as I'm going to decide as I'm making it. <laughs> so, um, stick around and I'm going to do the same thing as I did, uh, with this book. I'm going to cover the sheet, um, one of the, uh, the sheets that I glued together. I'm going to put one side with the craft paper. Okay. Uh, and I'm not going to do the, the back side of it and I'm going to find uh, another section where I want it and I'm going to cover one side of, of those sheets. Okay. And then I'll find another section that I want to cover and I'll cover it with that sheet. Okay and then finally the last one so whatever i decide that's what i'm going to do okay uh so stick around i'm going to fast forward it while i um run my tombow uh dots adhesive um mono glue sticks uh double-sided tape uh, on the the sheets of paper and then stick these down and cut around them and so I'm going to do that on this book right here. All right. So stay tuned and I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to uh, watch every single move <laughs> very slowly. I'm going to speed it up, enjoy the tunes, and I'll see you on the back side.
Okay, so um, I put all of the uh, different uh, sheets in here. All right, and um, what I did was I counted out um, so many pages so that what I was going, what I'm thinking about using this for is for one specific, um, is for a planner. So um, the page that's connected to the, the craft paper, this one, these two pages are going to be for uh, a month. So I'm going to make a month uh, calendar on here. All right. I can either draw it or I can uh, print one out or I can buy a copy of it and have it and put it in myself. It just it depends on how you like to do it. OK, I like to um, draw them out. All right. So um, the first page will be the month on two pages. OK, then the next set of pages are going to be the first week of the month. So I can either spread it out, uh, have the whole week here and then do all my planning on that. Or I can do all the whole week on here and then notes for the week. It just depends on how I, I decide that I want to do it. OK, uh, then this is week two, week three, week four and week five. All right. So then because uh, there's always like one or two days uh, in the month that are left over. And then this can be uh, notes for the coming month, uh, things that I need to um, put on the next month. Uh, as I'm going, I may say, oh, I need to do this and I can, I can, I, I do a lot of, of this. I stick uh, sticky notes and say, oh, I need to remember this for next month. I, I don't want to go looking through the next month. I'm just going to stick it on the back here. And that way I know that I've got it down. And then when I'm going to start this next month, I'll have this and I can go, oh, okay. So this month I can do such and such. Um, now, some people like to do this all in advance just set up the whole all the months and all the weeks and just go from there um, sometimes they like to go each month so at, at the last week of this month okay uh, then they'll think okay well I need to set up the next month and then they do that's up to you you can do any way you like um, this is how I'm gonna do it and then the last one that I did, where is it? Here. All right. So this is the last month. Now I did one, two, three, four, five, five months. Okay. Uh, so this is the monthly. This is week one, week two, week three, four, five, and then notes for the next month. So this page is open. OK, so what I was thinking about doing was putting uh, I have all of these leftovers and I'm going to be using them. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not going to throw them away. But I was thinking about um, taking like one of them and putting something here so that I know that there's a, a changeover. OK. And I can use this part for notes uh, for next the next months to come or um, uh, menu planning or uh, whatever, whatever I decide that I want to do. Um, those can be the note pages. So let me put this on here so I don't forget where the new ones start. So. Okay, so I have all of these papers that are left over and you better believe that I'm going to save all of it. Um, and what I like to do is I stick it in the back before I use the book so that I know that they're there. And then I stick it on the front uh, of my shelf and I know that it's available for me to use next time I need one. Um, I sometimes uh, set up one of these books per month. 
Uh, sometimes I do six months, sometimes I do a whole year. It just depends on what I need at the time. Uh, and you can do something really simple as like taking one of these and then sticking on here. Uh, let's see, this is uh, the closest washi tape that I have right here. But you can literally take a piece of that used paper and stick it on here like this, okay, uh, with with uh, washi tape. And you can put something like um, January through, um, that was five months, right? May. And this could be 2021 or whatever. Um, or you could put um, recipes or, you know, my gardening notebook or whatever you wanted to do. You know, th this is yours. Um, this is not rocket science. If you make a mistake on one of these pages, I made a mistake where I was cutting and, and or no, I, I think it was... Um, where is it? Is it up here? No, nope. here it is. So I made it a little long when I stuck it down. So I had to go back and cut the top of it. That's okay. I mean, or I, you know, if y'all weren't looking, I would have just left it because it's just a little teeny tiny piece that I cut off of it. So what? You know, I mean, this is mine to do with as I please. I'm going to use it to write all my feelings and my appointments and whatever stickers that I come across that needs to stick on there. I'm just going to stick it on there. I mean, there's just so many different things that I can do with this. If I find something that I think is cute, I'm going to stick it on there because you know what? I'm not going to keep it. You know, I mean, it's, it's something that's, that's I need right now. I'll put the receipts in here that I, that I need to look at for the end of the month or whatever. Um, but you need to use it any way that you want to. You understand what I'm saying? These are a dollar or less. Um, I think I get them for like 88 cents at Walmart. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes you can get them two for a dollar. I've got them for a quarter each uh, at the end of the school season uh, when all, Walmart had all of them on clearance and I got like a whole box full of them because um, I love them I mean you can use them for so many different things I just I adore these composition notebooks and I'm really glad that you were able to stop by and look at how I make mine um, this one I put washies on the tape and I was thinking about it and you know, I may not use it or I may get some duct tape and stick it in here. I, or I may not, or I may paint it or I, I don't know what I'll do um, because I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna be using this or this one. I'm so excited I've got two made up. <laughs> so that's, that's what I was here to show you that you can use this any way you want to. I mean, you can, stick whatever you want on it you can you can uh, make it into a, a photo um, book if you want to a lot of people have those uh, little little uh, things that you can take from your phone and take a picture and then print it out and stick it in in whatever books that you wanted to I mean that would be just so much fun don't you think um, and you would and they're so cheap I mean you can make so many of these for so many different reasons I'm so glad that you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or if there's another one that you'd like me to do on, um, on these, I was thinking about embellishments like um, using um, clips and uh, dangles and whatnot that a lot of people use on these. Just put your comment down below and let me know what you're interested in and um, and I can make it happen. All right. Uh, thanks so much for watching and until next time, peace out.